Okay. Welcome to What the F is Going On in Latin America, Code Pink's weekly YouTube broadcast of hot news out of Latin America and the Caribbean. We broadcast every Wednesday, 12 p.m. Eastern, 9 a.m. Pacific. Today is actually a special episode of WTF. This is part two of a two-part series on Chile and the national plebiscite held there on October 25. Yesterday, we had the privilege of talking with Patricia Zamorano from Washington, DC. And today I am really thrilled to introduce all of you to Andres Hidalgo. He is speaking with us from Santiago, Chile today. He is vice president of the political party Comunes. But first and foremost, he wants me to let you know he is a Chilean citizen above all else. So he is vice president of his political party, and he is also a very strong voice for the past 25 years in the Chilean um, youth movement. So welcome, Andre. So wonderful to have you join us here from Santiago, Chile today. Hi, hi Terry. I, I am very happy to talk with you. Thank you for receiving me. Uh, I, I would like to tell you about many, many things. Well, I'm so excited that you're here to do that with us. Why don't we first start with what actually happened on Sunday the 25th with the Chilean National Plebiscite. What exactly was it and the significance of the, of the results that were resoundingly in favor? Mm, yes, uh, well, uh, uh, this, play, this plebiscite uh, uh, was uh, an historical uh, event um, if uh, the people, the, the Chilean people, vote by a, a constitutional uh, change completely from a, uh, from zero, um, and 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 that means in in a concrete the the constitution of 1980 uh, will be um, suppressed, um, and that is a historical situation. Um, many, many, many political party um, uh, had like a, uh, um, they had a depth with a, with a people, uh, uh, with a Chilean people about uh, a new constitution. And the, the people in 18 October of uh, last year go to the street and um, broke the social contract uh, burning all, uh, breaking all. This a uh, this a, a huge outbreak. And so these the, were October of 18, 2019. These were all the street protests that we were seeing in the U.S. media, or we didn't yeah. see a whole lot of it from Chile, unfortunately. But yes, okay. Y yes, uh, I mean, um, uh, the, uh, the people don't. People broke old. I, I mean, yeah. uh, um, they they say, well, I I don't live with dignity in my country, and then well, uh, I broke my country. I think mm -hmm. so obviously, um, and and the politic the the political party, the government, the um, the Congress people say, okay, uh, we have to make something before, um, I don't know, uh, these uh, are going to explode uh, very, very, very I don't badly, know, um, very wide. Very, exactly, yeah. exactly. Uh, and, and I think uh, because uh, um, a militant, and I think like a militant of many years, um, this is very necessary and very good uh, for, my, for my country for the people uh, who live in my country. So last fall, the government basically conceded to this plebiscite in order to quell all the political and all the social unrest. It, was a, it, was, it wasn't what was planned, was it? I mean, it was just basically became, did it become a concession to, to unite the country and make sure there was not widespread national disruption? Not only a concession, not only a concession. He, he was forced to make this plebiscite, but not only the plebiscite, the government, oh, in, in Chile, the government 
is uh, of the right wing, very right wing. Um, they change uh, all their management completely, the laws, the budget, uh, the discourse, uh, all, and the plebiscite, is, I mean, it's the most profound demonstration of that change. Uh, it must, um, o sea, it, it's, it's uh, uh, the most uh, um, uh, deeply, but not only. This government uh, have a, a biggest trouble and that, and that big trouble is uh, nobody wants it. Nobody believe in government. This is a, this is a revolution, peaceful revolution. But, but a revolution and government know that. And people don't want, the people will don't permit, uh, don't, don't, uh, was not um, uh, permit um, um, uh, um, um, uh, that change, uh, uh, don't permit a no, a no change. <laughs> that, that's, the, that's the important. So, okay, so the people were, were not going to accept, the, continue to accept the way things were. There had to be change. There was no other acceptance of the people other than to change the government and to start with the constitution. Absolutely change. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. in, in, this, in, this, in this country, there no exist, there no exist the social rights. There no exists uh, right to um, housing, uh, Health, education, environment, and work, they don't exist. All that uh, uh, social rights are delivered by the market. If so you all that, everything is privatized. Everything is privatized. There's no, there's no citizen rights. It's all whether you can achieve it in the private market. The, the public service are poor. Yeah. Uh, are of the, uh, of the, um, they, they can't provide the, the, the population uh, a good service. I mean, the COVID uh, show, the COVID did not break the system of health public care. No, the, the COVID show mm -hmm. a broken system. Yeah. The same here in care. the United States, the same in the United States, it revealed how poorly- The neoliberalism. Exactly. Is yes, the neoliberalism. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Well, here the neoliberalism uh, in, in, um, implicate a, a not social right, absolutely. And that the people in October 18 last year um, broke. Uh, they they wow. would say they would say they they say no more of this. That be. That's that for that there's no one demand. There's no a leader, there's no a, a speaker, there's no political party. Was no uh, uh, no nothing of that. No, the people in the street won and again and again and again for a year in the street. March. Wow. It was Burn. so powerful to see so, so that, that footage, you know, in the Nobody United States. Nobody controlled it. Nobody yeah. controlled this. Uh, the we, people, we, we, human response. Genuinely popular. Sorry, this yeah. is genuinely popular. <laughs> genuinely it's, popular. And the strength in that is so profound that it so is a profound. popular movement and that it is just, uh, it's, as you said, it's not any one political party's agenda. It's an entire pop. It's the majority of the population's desire, as we saw on Sunday, because it was more. It was such a resounding um, yes vote to rewrite the constitution, and the percentage of people that voted yes included more than just progressive and leftist people. It was also more conservative people want to change in the government as well. Am I correct in understanding that? It's yes. the population as a whole that's demanding a change. I mean, 80%. Yeah. <laughs> 80% or some, I don't know. In my country, there's a 350 township. And three township want the reject. The township of the rich people. 
and in another 347 township want uh, the yes option. Wow. Uh, oh, there's I, a <laughs> I, I mean, I mean, I, this is a fight between poor people and rich people, between the people and the elite. But a very, but the elite is a very small percentage. Very small, but they're the ones who have been we, in power since. We talk about seven families. Yeah. We talk about seven families, the real power for people, the real power, the, the, the people who own the water, the people who own the land, people who own the sea, people who own the mountain, people who own the forest. We talk about seven families. One of these families is Piñera family. Yeah, the president is the president's one of the, 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 this uh, family. They control the country. They control the country, the economy of the country, the polit the politic of the of the country. Uh, they they control. <laughs> they don't control the people. Well, clearly, <laughs> they are so uncomfortable with this because they don't control the people, and the people. It's the people know that seven family control. The people know. I will. The, the, they don't permit never more. It's my opinion, never more. And I'm happy for that. Absolutely happy for that. We, we can see your enthusiasm and, and the pride in this movement. Sorry for my English. I, I, want, no, to, we, I want to tell you everything. <laughs> we want to hear everything. It's so wonderful <laughs> to hear a voice uh, from, uh, you know, from Santiago proper. And your enthusiasm is really, really contagious. And it would be so nice to um, have some of that um, enthusiasm spill over into the into the United States voting population. It's such a what we're what we've seen the past year in Chile is what is possible with peaceful revolution. I mean, with people in the streets day after day after day, and to see how it all well the beginning of the end of the old constitution was Sunday, the 25th. It's just the beginning of what's possible. So I, there's a couple of things I wanna personally ask you about, and then we can get back to the um, plebiscite, you know, the technicalities of it and the ramifications for the rest of the Americas. But you told me you're a dentist and we were talking a moment ago about the, uh, the decline, the erosion of public healthcare services in Chile which were revealed during because of the COVID-19 pandemic. And we've seen the same in the United States that come. Mm. Uh, and so tell me, let, let's talk a, just a little bit about um, your experience in the healthcare system in Chile. Yes. Well, I, I, I worked for um, 10 years in the public health and um, the system is broken. That uh, that's the real. I, I can I I I can know I can't I don't know express from another uh, uh, way. Um, we have people in uh, waiting for three years for surgery. People and is this uh, because the system is underfunded? Because there's because constitutionally there's this huge push. As we, as you mentioned, to privatize everything, because the neoliberalism model mm -hmm. say, and the subsidiary state say, well, all the service, all um, areas of the social um, development uh, are delivered by the market, and when the market works, well, the state simply just look. Uh, and where the market don't solve the trouble, I mean, in the public health, the, 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 the public health for poor people, for people can't pay for their own uh, um, system of uh, health. Well, the state put uh, a little of uh, resources, uh, money, um, and well, do it, uh, like you can, and yeah. and obviously um, force the system to um, to answer uh, a COVID can't it can't it, it's so simple and the people die 
we have um, uh, 1,500, 15,000 of uh, people, dead people. And every day are more and more. And, and people know that, but they can't do uh, nothing except to go to the street and uh, go to the march and, uh, and reclaim and um, uh, they will not stop. They will it's, not stop. It's so powerful. It's so powerful and it's such a wonderful example of what's possible. So let's talk about. So uh, in, in my in my country, there's no system of pension, system of retirement. Yes. There no exist. It's only exists uh, uh, companies, private companies, okay, uh, who um, management uh, your your money, your savings. But if you don't have savings, you don't have pension. So this is the fa this is the fascinating thing to me. And, and the real horror of neoliberalism to me with all services um, privatized, you have the cost of living going up. People need more disposable income because they have to pay more and more of services on their own. And you have declining wages or suppressed wages. Mm. So where is the money if the state, if you have stagnant wages, suppressed wages, the state takes away anything that it was helping to provide people with public education, healthcare, good infrastructure, how do you survive? And this is, how do you save for retirement? It's impossible to save for retirement when you're not earning anymore and yet you have to become responsible for paying for more and more and more. It just, it simply doesn't work. I mean, it just, it just doesn't work. It doesn't take a rocket, you know, a rocket science to figure that out. It doesn't work anywhere. I mean, we're seeing the extreme in Chile, but I would argue we're beginning to see, uh, you know, an equal extreme in the United States. Yeah. Particularly because people have woken up with the pandemic. We don't know how the people uh, solve uh, this uh, this trouble. We don't know. And I say, real, the uh, the, the the research about this uh, this uh, about this 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 um, this uh, um, about this this item um, uh, don't don't know the people uh, don't uh, win the enough money and live we don't know how no, it's simply no not nobody possible. nobody knows nobody knows nobody knows because uh, you say well uh, the cost of the service are here and people when here how that nobody knows. You can't close the gap. It's impossible. It's impossible. The, unless you rewrite your constitution <laughs> to, to well, guarantee certain it, rights. That it's fascinating. The, uh, the people um, understood that the constitution uh, finally uh, 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 solved or not solved their own troubles their own uh, conflict, their own um, li live life, their own life. And, and that is true. The right wing, the, the, politi the politics of the right wing say no, no, no. But, but it's true. The constitution defines finally, finally, the, the life of the people and their social rights. I, I, we say, we say the social right from born to death all all the life uh, i mean well education housing retirement etc cetera, etc cetera. Uh, we say and and they say no the constitution uh, don't solve that trouble people understood normal people uh, uh, um, genuinely popular yeah. normal people no. understood that and and, and that's um, take for, for surprise uh, to everyone to everyone, um, we we thought, the, no, the people don't understand. No, the people don't interest political, political based, political uh, um, terms. Uh, and, and no, the people know perfectly uh, that uh, the importance of the constitution. Eighty percent say yes. No, eighty percent, and it's eighty percent. 
so the powerful mix. people the powerful people today are very uncomfortable they have trouble they have problem with this country and so how do you how do you see the powerful people respond you know including the government and beyond the powerful people in the private sector that own everything and it, and you also mentioned they own the water and i'd like to come back to that in a minute but how do you um how do you perceive or envision the um the state responding to this huge majority movement among the people well um uh, at the moment they only can accept the results and uh, we have a, a a law that say the plebiscite it's the first step from a, a process from a constitutional process and that's very important because uh, the rules of the play are uh, are, are, are uh, wrote they were wrote in the in the parliament uh, therefore they can't say they can't say no 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 we're going to stop this no but in uh, but in chile the right wing um, uh, fight and attack the government palace with uh, uh with uh, with the regular army in 1973 yes. with the president inside the government palace la moneda um uh, and and was now the first time in history was now the first time uh, they they can repeat i th i think no but uh, we can say I put my my hands in fire there, these people, these, these powerful people. Uh, now it's democratic people. I'm not convinced of that. Um, so we we don't we don't we don't have we must no have afraid for that. Yes. No, you have to we keep moving go. forward. Yeah, and there can't yeah, well, with 80%. Exactly. With, with the people. Yeah. With the yeah. people with the normal people. Yeah. Well, the fear to have fear would hold, you would be holding yourselves back. You'd be at that point. Um, well, I mean, you know, we don't know what, right? Nobody knows wh what the reaction is gonna be except to move forward and it's so profound. I mean, we saw the same thing in Bolivia on, on the 18th, you know, it was an overwhelming win by the Moss party. And a lot of people, a lot of us outside of Bolivia were watching and saying, oh, the right wing government is never going to allow that mm. to happen. And yet with such an overwhelming victory by the Moss, it in front of the world, what can the right wing do without appearing to be incredibly violent and oppressive? I mean, there's, and I think, you know, with 80% of the population in Chile, it's overwhelming. I mean, I, I listen to you say that and it's just, it's profound, uh, that sort of movement. So let's... Um, what, what we lose, lose what, what we lose with dicta dicta dictatorship, we recover it with democracy. Yeah. In Bolivia yeah. and in Chile. Yes. We lose our yes. constitution in dictatorship and yeah. we are recovering in democracy. In Bolivia, wow. exactly the same. We mm -hmm. are... The democratic people they know wow yes what do, how do you feel so this is wow this is just very profound the dictatorship loses and the democracy wins um via the constant via constitutional change not military change as the right wing yes. often the right wing needs the military to do it and here 80 percent of the chilean people are going to use the constitution to make the change how do you see today and i know this is a really you know we don't know what's going to happen but how do you see or what is your opinion of the americas seeing bolivia but now especially seeing you know sunday in chile on uh, you know right the, the, the weekend right after uh, bolivia how do you see this movement in chile affecting the rest of the Americas, I would like to. They they see with hope 
we will have a constitutional com a convention constitution um con sorry constitutional convention i don't know with 50% woman 50% men uh, with um, uh, um, uh, with a an, an, an native people um, with a representation of all the country to north to south um, so uh, this will be a, a very democratic uh, uh, um, process mm -hmm. so i would like to to another country not just the america obviously especially americas <laughs> uh, uh, was looking not not only the plebiscite uh, was looking all the process because the because the Chilean people uh, was looking all the process from day one to finally and this is very relevant because the powerful people the elite the millionaires they uh, want to um, cut in any moment and that's real and, and in a country like like uh, like chile they can in, uh, they can uh, do it do, do that in a, in any moment and so hope yes so much hope but looking uh, with uh, with very with, with too much attention what it's happened here because i told you again the people will not stop, and we, 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 the militant, we don't, con we don't control the, the social movement. No, but uh, uh, we are, we, we are, we, we are part of that movement. Only a part, one more, but we are part. So uh, we want uh, that this the uh, democratic process goes to a new constitution with social rights with uh, individual uh, freedom, uh, with an, a, a new conception of uh, men uh, and women, obviously, um, with um, feminism, animalism, uh, with uh, syndicalist, uh, with uh, people from the academic world. We want a, a, a constitutional convention like Chile, who liked Chile. Um, then it, rep it represents the whole legitimacy yeah for recovery the legitimacy for the political activity uh, and that uh, and that claims a change a change a profound change so hope yes oh, too much hope but not only the hope so we have to be intelligent and not ingenuous mm -hmm. the so america must be over the process. Yeah, it's uh, well, it's it's really uh, wonderful that just you know, as you're describing the constitutional convention, in that it will be represent the diversity of Chile. The not, women, the women is the main actor. No doubt, the right. women in my country, they have the flag, the main flag of this moment. Wow, well, that's have, inspiring. Yes, no, that's absolutely. Really they they have the flag. They they are in the first line. Wow. And we and and we say this one, <laughs> these women. I love them. <laughs> we're back. We're oh, back. Oh, that's so exciting! It's so wonderful to hear. So I wonder. You know, there's a there's one thing that and we're going to digress a little bit but it's fascinating to me that you mentioned this when you were talking about the the powerful elite the the, the families that basically own and control the country you mentioned they own the water this is something we you know it's kind of under the political conversation the economic conversation globally right now but the privatization of water Mm. not just in Chile, but across the planet, is very real. And it's and, embarrassing. Uh, it's horrifying, isn't it? The, I mean, the people that control the water are basically going to be able to control the life. humanity. Yeah, humanity yes. across the planet. And so 
it's just how long has the water been privatized in Chile? From the constitution of 1880. So, so. We have 40 years. So 1980 privatized. The, I didn't know. 1980, yes. 40 wow. years. And, wow. and and the people in the uh, uh, in the in zona rural in la uh, the, and the poor people and and not not here in in the cities in, they in don't, the, the, they, the they don't have water they don't have water they don't have they receive they receive the water in um uh they uh, pro, like they in a big to, jug in a truck yeah mm -hmm. they receive yeah. the water in a truck mm -hmm. but uh, uh, the people who own the water they use it in a I don't know, in their forests and their mines and in 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 everyone, and the people don't have water. Uh, and that it's exactly like I'm saying you. I'm I'm not using a metaphor. No, no, no. This is the real. People don't have water. The that people, that powerful people, have the water and use it for. Uh, I don't know for their economic activity, mm -hmm. their, their own economic activity. Uh, I I don't know this uh, the aguacate. Mm -hmm. uh, avocado took, for our US avocado, yes, avocado, avocado, yes. Avocado, avocado, avocado. yes. Mm -hmm. uh, they uh, <laughs> they drink all the water. Yeah, and people don't have in that in, in that uh, cities. So the water's been privatized and is being used for private industry by the wealthy families. Yes, private and industry so, and, and whatever they want. Yeah. They decide. So part yeah. of the constitution is going to take resources out of the privatization process. That is one of the hundreds Thing. of demands. Yeah. That is one of the mainly demands. Wow. No doubt. No doubt. The water recovery the people wants to recover the water, and I think the people will be recovering the water because and many are, many other things too. <laughs> because they are decide to 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 make that uh, to make that fight. But but yes, you you're right. The water, the people yeah. don't the world don't understand. No, it's the I don't yeah. understand too. I don't understand too. Except you... except because. That people, that powerful people, the elite in in my country, uh, they want all for himself. Yeah, they don't care people. They wow, don't care normal people. So, you know, I I guess I, I I promised you we would keep this to thirty minutes, and we keep talking. I could talk to you all day. Actually, this is fascinating. There's in listening to you today talk about what's happening with this popular people movement and rewriting and, and now the resounding result to rewrite the constitution. This is more than recuperating water and environment and funding for public education and healthcare. This is about restoring the dignity and humanity of the Chilean people. Well, I hope that too. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, really and the water, and talking the feminists, and the LGBTQ yeah. uh, uh, community, uh, and 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 old. Uh, yeah. We we want we want a country for all. Uh, yeah. Every world has the, their space in 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 our society, and that uh, situation is not the currently situation. That's real, and that's because go people go to the streets. And yeah. we'll go again to the street. Uh, 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 it's like, a beautiful like, thing, like isn't I say, it? It's, so it's, I it's a beautiful it. thing. Yeah. I have if 20 we... years. I have 20 years of militants, of the political militants. And I never think that I would say this is this, this is scenario. And I'm happy to leave it. Real. You know, it's a profound moment in, in Chilean history and, and for for all we need we need the, the international community we need it we need it really. and what can the international community do for you what's what what would you 
like all of us outside of Chile? What's the best thing we can do for you? Yes, please. <laughs> and thanks. <laughs> support support your voices. Do more programs like this. This is why no, I'm so I, 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 and, and look to the to the elite. Yeah. No, no, no. The people will not permit you. Again. Yeah. And the international community must be uh, seeing that. Yeah. No more this is, a, this is a this is a democratic process. Absolutely democratic. No, a yeah. profoundly democratic process. Profound, demo exactly. Yeah. Exactly. It's just it's amazing. We must defend it. Mm -hmm. We must defend it inside and outside of Chile. Inside yeah. and outside, exactly. Yeah. That that's yeah. the point. That's because yeah. I'm talking with you with my poor English. Sorry. No, no. Uh, that, that that's the model. I think that is yeah. the responsibility. This is the responsibility we have to take with the process, defend it in all spaces, inside mm -hmm. and outside. I say, uh, I, I I say with a. A very, uh, I have a conviction of that. Yeah, very strong. Well, Andres, I'm so thankful you joined us today. I know you told me, well, my English isn't so good. Your English is fantastic. And most importantly, I'm so thankful that you, um, I know you were concerned about that, but it's more important to hear you and your your passionate story and you as you said you are a chilean citizen first and foremost and to hear your story and to congratulate the chilean citizenry for what was accomplished on sunday the 25th but yes i fully agree with you and all of us at code pink as well that those of us outside of chile have a responsibility as well to keep the voices heard and to support the people to support this popular movement for a move to um, to democracy. So yeah. thank you so much for joining us today. Really, really wonderful. So thankful for your time. So yo, thank you very much for the invitation. The deep sense of distress of the people we want to convert in a new constitution. Uh, and, and, and that needs this, this democratic process. Oh, thank you for the invitation. If in another moment, you you like to to talk with me. I'm uh, absolutely um, uh, for you. Wonderful. Well, we will we'll definitely stay in touch, and we will definitely want to talk to you, and you know, and and follow this whole process along with you because it's so profound, and it of will course be just great to follow what's happening. Um, I will process. be here <laughs> in Santiago of Chile given the fight with the people oh wonderful okay andres thank you so much we're so with you on this and we will continue to um to make sure the voice and the will of the chilean people um is remains outside of the country as well that your voices are heard outside as well so thank, thank you, you everybody bye-bye thanks again and thank you everyone for watching today again this is what the f is going on in latin america we broadcast on Code Pink YouTube every Wednesday, 12 p.m. Eastern, 9 a.m. Pacific. And today was a special episode, part two of two parts uh, regarding the National Plebiscite in Chile, October 25th. Today we had the profound joy of talking with Andres Hidalgo from Santiago, Chile. Thanks again, Andres. Look forward to talking Thank with you, you again. Okay. We'll see. Bye-bye.